What's going on guys? Welcome back to Complete Tech Crew. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and in-depth review on the Tech Time 87 piece uh, half inch drive six point socket set. This particular set is sporting a part number of SID 92407. I picked this up from my local uh, farm feed and supply store at Cal Ranch out here in my area. There's a bunch of those stores out here, but I am sure they are readily available online and at other distributors and retailers around your area. So just check it out, guys, and uh, do your research and shop around for it. Pretty great set. I have other smaller uh, Tecton sets, and I love Tecton tools. That's my go-to brand. I was tr starting to build up the Icon tool set, and I do get Icon stuff whenever there isn't a Tecton tool ready to available that I can physically see and uh, actually experiment around with. So this one is nice. I like the case. It's very solid. Of course, there's 87 pieces, and I thought it was great that uh, you were able to get 25 deep, 25 uh, standard on the metric, and uh, with your uh, SAE, you got 17 standard and 17 deep. So I thought this is a pretty uh, all-inclusive and intuitive kit, so I'm grateful for it. It has a 10-inch extension, 3-inch three in, three extension, and a universal joint. And also, they have the engraving and laser uh, marking on here, so I think that's great. This kit is impact rated, so I uh, don't think it's just... Um, they're black in color or anything like that. It's actually, they're actually worthwhile and very solid pieces. I really like these a lot. Um, I utilize these and I'm building up my Milwaukee uh, impact rated um, socket sets as well. So I'm getting a lot of those coming. And if you guys don't already know, Milwaukee is starting to deploy those uh, socket sets and some of the uh, pack out organizers. So I think that's really great. And that's smart on their end. That's actually genius. So I'm glad they're doing that. Not saying that this doesn't that this doesn't need it, that I'm not going to put this in there or that this needs to be in some type of different case. This is great because this will mainly be for the work that I'm doing on automotive and expanding around and doing builds and stuff like that. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's get into it. You guys see the features and stuff on there pretty straightforward. So just as y'all are excited about opening this, and I am too. So let's go ahead and get it open. I'm not even going to be pretty about it. I'm just going to kind of go for it. And uh, this case is extremely, this set is extremely heavy. So you guys be cognizant of that when you're lifting it up. The lady at the store almost fell down trying to lift it off the counter. So taking a look at this uh, kit outside of the packaging, I really like that it does have embossed right here. That is half inch drive impact kit and it lets you know your size runs and all that. Because if you do have a lot or a great deal of uh, Tecton tools and their cases are all similar. They have a silver case, they have a black case just for the different sizes, but I have a lot of their half inch cases. It's good to identify it by this right here. So that's great as well. And I also put a label on the side bodies in the top. So whenever I need to uh, access it, I'll know exactly what it is. There, There's a buckle or a shackle on the left side, the right side on the top left corner and the right corner as well. And that's how you open up the kit itself. And get that cardboard out of the way. Let's go ahead and get it turned around and show off these uh, impact sockets. So looking at the kit, you have your metric at the bottom of the kit. And on the top of the kit, you have your SAE sockets there. I like the way the SAE are formatted or fitted into the case or what have you. Um, because they're all like locked down. There is less of them than there is as opposed or compared to what the amount of the um, metric sockets. So they had to uh, format it differently or situate it differently for lack of better words. So I have no problem with that. Just be careful how you open and close the kit the way you approach it. So your actual metric uh, sockets impacts don't uh, come out falling out. So the way to do that is to open and close it is always from the top section where you have your Tecton logo and where it lets you know your identifier or what's within this kit. Pay attention to that and you won't have any problems. I have quite a few Bosch uh, hole saw sets and there's no real way to identify which way to open that case up. So I make the mistake and do it and they all go flying out. So I figured it out. I put a label on it and made it a little bit easier on me. Sometimes I mess it up, but uh, I think I got it down pat now, but you don't want to go doing that with this and have to restack everything. Cause again, these shorter ones, are, uh, are loose. Uh, everything else seems to be pretty much in there, clipped in there within this uh, blow molded case. These will come out easily just because they're weight, but uh, that's okay. Just open it properly. So I spent enough time talking about that. Sorry, you guys. So what I do like about this kit in particular, specifically this kit is the size run. Um, it's all inclusive. It's a robust size run. And to me, this is uh, one of the most comprehensive kits you can buy off store shelves without having to go 
to a store brand. I really do like Tech Town Tools. I haven't had any issues. I've heard of some guys have have had issues in the past, uh, you know, acknowledging or reading reviews. And there were a couple comments on on this uh, channel as well that they had some experience, bad experience with customer service. I get that it happens. I hopefully I don't have to go through that. These look very similar to the Milwaukee sockets, and we'll compare those in a second. But I'll get back to the point that I was trying to make uh, about the size run. So if we're looking at metric, we have eight all the way to 32. No skips, no issues. Everything's complete there. I absolutely love that about this kit. And then if we take a close-up look at our standard uh, sockets, we can see that we're five sixteenths all the way to inch and a quarter. So to me, very comprehensive, very robust kit. And while I have this lifted up, this size, and I have you guys in frame on this one, we can just take a look at how these are placed in there. They're all in there, uh, fastened in there within this blow molded case in their respective location. And if you guys look here, you have inch and a sixteenth. Um, that's great. It lets you know where everything goes. So there is no guessing or there is no spending time trying to fit it yourself. It lets you know that everything has a home and a place. And it's like that on the metric uh, side as well. So that's what I love about this kit as well. And everything is easily identifiable. Speaking in terms and referencing the sockets themselves, if you take a look at them, you see that they're laser etched here, the number 27. And if you turn it over, it's stamped and embossed here, 27 tecton. And then they give you the part number of each individual particular socket. So if there's ever a need for a replacement or an additional one, you have that ability and they make it so easy to where you don't have to go looking through a catalog, spending time online and stuff like that. Same here with the shorter standard size um, socket itself. It gives you the tecton embossed with tecton, letting you know what you're using, uh, the number 27 and then the part number for this particular piece. And then right here, you have it laser etched 27, the number 27, excuse me, guys. So again, guys, these do rub off. But it takes a lot of time. I have some that is just oil, gunk, and grime, and whatever I've been working on, whatever I was doing uh, with automotive or whatever I was working on, whatever made it scrape off, it didn't come off completely. It's not completely brushed off. I can still identify it. But uh, if push comes to shove, all I need to do is take a look here. I can't say the same for Milwaukee, and I have the Milwaukee kit right here. I'm, not, I'm in no way comparing the two, just trying to acknowledge uh, their similarities. So. What I have noticed is like if we take a look at the 27 and the 27 here, they're very similar, guys. The build quality, the look, the fitment, everything, they are so similar. It's crazy how much they look alike. Um, I'm not going to say that they're made by the exact same manufacturer because I do not know, but they are very similar in weight and feel. And uh, using both, just playing around, you know, on my own time when I was working with them uh, on, a, on some automotive projects, I have acknowledged that they fit exactly the same. They feel exactly the same. They're one and the same to me. And I'm going to continue to collect both Milwaukee and Tecton because they both serve me well. And I do like that the Milwaukee uh, kits are starting to come out. These Milwaukee sockets, their impact sockets, are starting to come out in uh, the Milwaukee uh, pack out organizer. So I think that's incredible that Milwaukee is doing that. So I'm going to bring out Big Mama. This is the nut buster, the big boy. I call it Big Mama. Uh, just to see how well these Tecton uh, impact sockets fit. And they go on there real solid. Got to snug them on there really well. They fit really well. No problem. I haven't had any issues with these guys. They're on there. And when I'm running this thing and playing around with it, a lot of times I pull this out and I don't need it. I just want to pull it out just to use it. And uh, it works well. These things can take a beating. They scratch. They don't scratch up as bad as some. Um, these ones uh, take, a, take a beating. The scratches and stuff like that on my Husky ones, because the Huskies seem to have like that sheen or film on it, they scratch a lot easier. That's exactly why I use them out in the field to get beat up and defaced and stuff like that. Um, I don't take my Tecton tools or my Milwaukee stuff out there because I don't want to lose it for the price that you're paying. And again, guys, the price that this kit was was 270 before tax. It was around 290 after it was all said and done. And uh, it was 20 percent off. So the original price was 347 or just under 350 dollars. Very expensive for uh, for this, for me not being in the professional industry. But to me, in my opinion, I would have spent maybe double, triple, maybe quadruple on that on one of those uh, house brands that are out there serving the automotive industry. And again, guys, I feel comfortable comparing this to that. I could be totally wrong. You guys can me eat me up or correct me in the comments. I don't mind that at all. 
but I do have little parts and pieces, not full kits of some of those uh major house brands in the automotive industry. And they feel similar, work the same, look the same, same durability. When I drop them, they sound the same. So I haven't acknowledged or noticed much difference other than life, uh, lifetime use and, and durability. I, I, I can't speak on that because I haven't had them that long to compare and see how long they're be, uh, how long they last. Nor do I use them on a daily, everyday basis for eight to 10 hours a day, like some of our professionals out there. So that's something to consider, guys. But for the price point, um, ease of access, availability, I'm definitely grateful for this kit. So again, guys, we have complete sizing on, on the metric um, end of this, and we have it from eight to 32 millimeter. And on our SAE or standard, we have five sixteenth all the way to inch and a quarter. And not to mention that it comes with a couple um extensions and a u-joint so we have right here our three inch extension and again that's uh laser uh not laser excuse me that's stamped as well three inch and with the part number we have our 10 inch extension here and then we have our u-joint here and all of these are available as well at the cow ranch they have like kits and they sell them and uh they sell them singularly as well which i think is great they make it really easy for you to get your hands on this tecton stuff so again, uh, thank you, Cal Ranch. And if you guys don't have a Cal Ranch in your area, just go ahead and go uh, do your research online. Tecton Tools is available at a lot of places. That's what's cool about it. So I'm grateful for that as well. Really good stuff. I wouldn't have made a video or put it on here or spent the 300 bucks on this kit if I didn't feel like it was worthwhile. I really like these tools. And again, guys, I'm getting deeper and deeper into my passions and hobbies. We're working on uh, anything with a motor, anything with an engine. So that's why I'm building up my collection as well. So again, guys, I hope you found this video resourceful and useful, particularly if you were looking or considering this kit, well worth it to me, especially with that 20% off. If you can find another deal, always walk through your stores, always know your pricing. Like I said, it's $347 originally priced or just under $350. And to get it for 270 to me, that was worth it. Um, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you guys subscribing, taking the time, spending the time to comment, share your thoughts, opinions, and some feedback with me. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much. Be blessed. Peace.